This is the Mortgage Lending Update of the East Central Business Show for July 2018. I'm John Nail and joined by resident expert mortgage broker, Laura Solano. Good morning. Got it right that time. <laughs> now, is this advice, Laura? It's never advice. Man, we're doing news. We're doing, this is new for us, so we're doing news. I know, we've never done this before. All right, cool. So, now we've got a list of things we want to talk about in terms of lending, July 2018. Is it getting harder or easier to get a loan? Uh, okay, you would probably already know that it's getting harder. Hmm. Or it's a little bit, it's uh, it's harder at the moment to get money. And if you do get out of the line, are you going to get the same amount of money as say you did five years ago or 10 years ago? No. Um, so what's going on there? So what's going on there? So for um, with the things that have happened over the last couple of years around benchmark rates, around restrictions on lending caps um, for different types of lending, um, also with the interest rates being differentiated between investment and owner-occupied, hmm. um, as well as then the recent inquiries and um, commissions and things like that into expenses, so living expenses. A couple on the same kind of scenario from, say, two or three years ago, so 2015, 2016, might have been able to borrow, say, 750, hmm. and they're in the same scenario Average probably able to borrow about six fifty. Right. Okay. So that's a so drop people of are finding. So is that have people got expectations that are wrong then? Is it this is a surprise to them that they're in this position? I say, shouldn't we be able to get more money? Is that what is that what's because property is not necessarily going down in price. No, it's not necessarily. You're right. It's not necessarily going down in price. Uh, it's just that the lending environment that we're in now is is more stringent. Hmm. And so, the, so, for example, the lenders are taking longer to do an assessment on your file as well because oh, okay. they're, they're needing to um, double check everything that they're doing and to meet this new environment that we're in. Okay. So, yeah, it's... Um, so don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. If you think, no, we can loan a mill. Yeah. That's not quite that. Don't be surprised if your capacity is not where you thought it might have been. If you haven't inquired for... Um, lending for a little while that don't be surprised if it has actually maybe reduced a bit and unless you've done something to counteract that so say for example your income has gone up mm. or your other expenses have come down in that period of time then you might be able to borrow the same or more but all things being equal most people would find that their capacity is actually reduced so servicing means earn more money yeah <laughs> okay. All right, I got that. I'll get stuck into that then. All right, go nuts. All right. Now, so how about the one thing I've come across in the past little while is, um, you know, I, I've seen in the press and I've seen offers around where brokers are saying we'll organise the, the finance, and yes. we've actually got a suite of properties as well. You know, do you want to? Have you got an opinion about that? I, I, actually, she pulled the face. You see that? I've <laughs> always got an opinion. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So this is my opinion. Yeah. All right. It's not necessarily to say that. It's just my opinion. I just feel that as a mortgage broker, mm. when I have a position of trust with the clients that I'm working with, where I know what their financials are and um, you know I know what their hopes and dreams are, that, that I, have, I have a really um, special place within their, their decision making mm. because I've got so much information about what, who they are and what they want to do. Mm. And so um, I think that to... For me to then be able to offer property to them and then get paid a commission on that side as well as organise the finance for them, mm. I think that creates a bit of, for me personally, I don't think it's I would bit, want to yeah, do it. Yeah, it's a bit conflicting by the sounds of it, isn't it's it? It's too but... close. There's, like to, It's hard enough to demonstrate for a broker that we act in the interests of the client Mm. Anyway, because we get paid by the lender. Yeah, and that's so all very transparent these days. Yeah, it's very transparent. And there's an inherent conflict of interest in that, that we manage really, really well because we just disclose everything around what we mm. what we get. And it's an accepted way to do business with a mortgage broker in Australia. Like, you know, people expect that um, in the industry. So I think that to then add com further complexity by getting income from other sources is simply by referring through or offering that hmm. solution, then I'm getting paid on two sides of the fence and I don't like it. But you'd rather hand that off personally. You'd like to personally, hand that off. Personally, I prefer to give it to somebody who's in, like, who um, is good at their job and not get paid anything from them. 
Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. personally my opinion. But I mean, having spent the time with you, Laura, I have to say that if you brought something to me, you said, John, look, if you look at the invest, this is something I personally feel I, you know, I'm in a trust relationship with you. Yeah. Having spent all the time. And that's what so I want to protect. So respect to you. <laughs> but that's what that's exactly what I want to protect. You're sort of backing away from that. You're saying so. Yeah, that's what I want to protect because the reason that we have that trusted relationship is because I haven't presented. I I don't have conflicts mm. of interest or potential ways to, yeah, just. Mm. <laughs> Just, just that's how I feel about it. Oh, so that's good. I no, think well, that's so good to know. Well, no, you, you told me a bit about your values before we went on camera about, uh, you know, helping put together we achieve type thing and be courageous and be masters of what you do. It doesn't mean necessarily helping people find properties. No, I just, like the... <sighs> okay, so I feel that I am serving my clients best by being a master of my own craft mm. and honing that skill and not being a generalist in what I do and being a specialist in what I do and then recognising the other areas that they may need assistance with mm. and then I form referral relationships with people who are masters of, in their own craft of what they do mm. and we can then refer to them on that basis but I don't get compensated monetarily from those referral relationships Yeah, and I okay. think that that's and so then the, well, the client's responsibility is like, go out and find the properties that best value. Go on, off you go. Go find a great value property. Yeah. Or I can put them in touch with a buyer's agent or I can put them in touch with a property agent who will do it. But I don't, I don't want to be compensated financially from that arrangement because mm. it puts me in a potential conflict of interest. Yeah, fair enough. Now, we're going to run out of time, but let's crack through a couple more subjects quickly. <laughs> um, so, Sydney, Melbourne, we had some news about Sydney, Melbourne property values potentially softening and that sort of thing, the boil coming off on the property market. Feel it? Uh, yes, I guess, it, I guess there is that happening in the market at the moment, but in turn, and I, I don't know what your question is. What's your question? No, well, well I, I read in press about property valuations, Sydney, Melbourne, particularly coming off the boil. You know, there's, there's is there an impact on well, lending from that? Is are that you hearing question? that as well? Is it something you're attuned to? Yeah, is it happening in Brisbane? Not as much in Brisbane. Hmm. Um, in terms of property values, um, definitely, I think that there's, you know, the statistics show that they're coming down a little bit or it's coming off the boil hmm. has that got any great impact in terms of lending or people people's arrears or anything like that it hasn't seemed to have an impact hmm. so far on it the only things that might happen from a lending perspective in those cities is that lenders might be more cautious about taking um, those types of securities that are seeing a drop in the market hmm. and maybe re reducing LVRs or things like that Okay, fair enough. All right, well, we're out of time in this segment. I'd love to talk to you about <laughs> SMSF and uh, the self-managed super fund stuff and what's happening around that and letting the mortgage or the, the borrowers or the bank saying we're not really interested in that business at all type thing. So, but we've run out of time on this occasion. Let's do it next time. Maybe this, yeah. it probably would have formed some stronger opinions <laughs> by then even, Laura. Okay, but anyway, that's enough for this okay. episode of the, uh, the Central Business Show. Now, how do people get more Laura Solano? Uh, you can contact me on mobile, which is 0422320497. You can also email through to the office, which is home at podfinancial.com.au. Okay, that's great news around what's happening in the mortgage market this month on the eCentral Business Show. We'll speak to you next time.